Okay, Steve McDowell, you finally get your own video, my man. And I'm going to leave this comment up, by the way. That's my plan right now. I may change my mind because i got free will. Uh, Steve McDowell, you're, you've proved my point for me exactly. The whole reason why this, this is so dishonest. Because you're, you're not taking into consideration something very important. So let's read your comment here. All Doug and the rest of us wanted you to prove is the quality, which is exactly what Doug did. Not with my stuff he didn't. He showed the cylinder and piston, among other parts of the saw of the lowest grade off of Alibaba. If the saw is not the quality you want, then why did you brag about it? Because I was improving it. I was st striving towards improving it and I only had one that has been improved as a prototype sent to me with the blue tape. I have discarded and returned cylinders and pistons that were not up to my standards for a build. It's okay. We understand an Asian market built saw thing happens. Builders know what's going on in an Asian saw that parts need to be replaced. Don't sell what you don't deem ready for the market. Exactly. And that's where you've been duped, you've been conned, you've been fooled by this Indiana dishonest Doug. I said, you're exactly right, and that's where Doug lied to you. Take the $10,000 reward challenge. When I got those first Noker orders, and they didn't seem to be up to perfect standards, I traded the one that I had sold out on the side of the road for another working saw, and I didn't sell another one until I figured out what the problems were. The problems with the ones that I ordered were... Uh, small t small leaking gas tank and carburetor adjustment problems. So I got all new carburetors. I changed them. I got all new gas tanks. I'm, I've been in the process of changing the gas tanks. I haven't I haven't done done that yet. I've been giving away saws with gas tanks because I don't want to bother with it. Giving away saws. You understand that? Giving them away. Okay. So the last saw that I actually sold was on eBay over two years ago. Unless you're talking about the packet of 381s I've got my friend testing locally. And there was one saw from a 440. The guy wanted a 70-something cc saw. He didn't want my 372s because he was tired of Husqvarna's, and he had an emergency basis, and I did him a trade-out. He wanted his money back. If my money wasn't in my pocket, I'm not in the buyer's remorse business. It was over two year, or two weeks later. He'd used a saw. So the only saws I had to give him at that moment in time, if it wasn't a 372 that he didn't want, was a 381 and a 5800. That's a trade-out. So I haven't been selling these Noker saws. The last Noker saw I sold, besides my buddy was two years ago. Do you understand? And all of my videos on the channel have been talking about quality improvement process and I can't sell them because they're not, not up to speed and there's only one prototype with the blue tape on it that where Noker changed, the, changed to try to meet my standards. And then I first started testing that in my videos with Kevin the welder from Texas. So you just proved my point. Don't sell what you don't deem ready for the market. I didn't. And that's where Doug, your, your, your whatever the hell you want to call him, is being dishonest. So you're exactly right. Take the $10,000 reward challenge. And I'd like to hear your response to this, Steve. And uh, yeah, I'm pissed off about comments like this because, you know, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is going to prove my point. All right. Comments like this from being lied to, you've been lied to. You understand that? You've been lied to by Doug. And this, and you just gave me more evidence for this case that I'm talking about. Like, subscribe, share, take care. Thank you. Thumbs up.